Welcome to the C++ programming tutorial. Um, what we've been, we've been looking at is um, operator overloading, overloading operators, and now we're going to look at using the friend fu function, which will make the the overloaded um, operator not a member of the class, so uh, but will still be able to access the the private data members. Now what you cannot do, I'm going to use the input output stream where you have C alt and you can print a text to screen like this here but I'm going to print an object which you cannot do so so just to show you I'm going to do this and if I save compile and run the program you'll see that Charles is printed to the screen. So there's Charles and the number follows at this the next line. And so but what you cannot do if I take that away and uncode this the object two or th these are different objects of this class that's been we've created an instance of. And so this add add one add two add two is fifty five. Right, so what I'm saying is C alt um, print alt add to and if I save this company will see it does not do this um, it will not print out an object it's, that's the error telling you it can't do it no match for operator um, for add to because this is a this is an object an instance of a class and so we've created a, an object um, so the way to do that is to create overload this operator that's an operator and it's telling you no match for operator and the way we do that is just what we were doing before um, let me see where are we uh, frosted here I've fermented it out so you can't see it um, and so first, the first thing you do is you've got to do a friend. Well, these don't have friends, so these are members. And when you do a friend method, it's better to have it outside the public and private. And so that's what we've done here. Um, it's output stream that we're going to be using because this is for the output stream and that's the operator keyword. And so and we're going to be using pointers, it's going to be pointing to the output stream. And inside what we're passing here is the output stream pointer and we've given a name to access it and we've given it output. And because it's um, we don't it's a constant and we're not going to be changing anything. And again it's a pointer, so I've put a P in front of and and we're going to access it this way. So that's the signature. This is us declared to the, the this class that this method is going to be implemented. And it's outside. It's a friend, so it's not a member. These are all members. And so this is the operator that we're going to overload. And when we overload it, we'll be able to use this to print out the whole object to screen. And so if we go back, I've commented this out. This was us implementing it. We don't use the word friend um, here and we don't use the class, right? that's the scope for the class. So it's not an a member of add operator so we don't use it. We're going to access this method from outside this class and this will have access to the private members. And so the uh, same again, it's output stream. The output stream is part of the IO stream which you include it's include IO stream um, it's, and that will give you the C alt and the C in. Well, you can see IO stream. Well, there's two parts of it this I stream and this O stream. Right, we don't have to go into that at the moment, um, but that's what we're doing here the out stream because we're printing out to the, the, the screen. and that's a operator for output stream and so 
Again, it's the exact same as the signature output stream pointer, memory address, output to access, constant, because we're not changing, we don't want it to change, add operator, again memory of this class, and p add, this is we're going to access and p for pointers type thing, though it's not asterisks. Um, and so in here, we just need to use the name that we're giving it, c output, so c output, and the operator and what we've done here is, is it's the same as what we we're doing there with like see old charles we've put a we've put a string and it says its value is and then we've done another operator and to access it p add dot its value this is a private member and we're going to print it to screen when we print the whole object and then we're going to print after that we're going to print another string its value plus 2 s and then we're going to print out its value again but add 2 to it to show there's a difference and so and what we're going to do is return output and that is the output stream and so if we go back if we go back down to here what we're going to print out, what we're going to print out is the the object, this object, and we're passing 55 to it. So its value should be 55. So if we save the changes, compile. Run the program and its value is 55, its value plus 2 is 54, 57, sorry, and um, that's us overloaded this method so we can print out whole objects. Now, so that's the friend, that's um, overloading um, operators with um, the friend. So I hope that's been of some use, and again, thank you for your time.